Hi, welcome to Dragon Naturally Speaking 12.5 Professional. This is part 3 of a part 4 video tutorial on scripting. Part 1 I showed you text macros. Part 2 I showed you macro recorder. And this part 3 I'm going to show you step by step using keystrokes. First we need to go to Dragon Bar at the very top and select the tools. Then in the drop down menu select add new command. So first I need to decide what command I'm going to create. So I'm going to use Word and I'm going to create some text. Then I'm going to bold it, italicize it and underline it. I'll also need to highlight everything as well to be able to do that. And then I'll need to unselect it if it doesn't stay selected. So you could use this command for whatever text you've got in a Word document. But I'm going to use it as well to create some text. So I'm going to call this command... general commands. Now I can give that description of what I just told you. I could say bold, underline if I want so I know exactly what that commands do. Group. Choose what category you want it in so you can select it then when you go to your script option in your command browser. But I'll leave it on user defined. Global so the commands will work anywhere because those shortcut keys work in other applications as well. So we're almost ready to go, so we have to go down to command type and select the kind of script we want to use. I'm going to choose step by step, which is using keystrokes. Now before we jump straight into it, I want to go to the bottom here where it says next step. It's coming on keystrokes. If I click the drop down menu here, you've got some great little macros and scripts here, for example. It'd be a good idea to actually turn your microphone as you're activating your command so it doesn't pick up background noise. So stop listening will be good, or microphone off. Another good option is type text, so you might want to put some text in. That's not a keystroke, so that would be a handy command as well. Wait is really good as well, because sometimes you need time to separate commands. For example, if you're opening an application, you need a wait command to wait until that application opens, before you can actually then do another command. Otherwise, the command will also be processing while the application is opening and it won't work. So bear in mind they're there. You can actually open an application by finding out exactly where it is on your computer. Currently we're using keystrokes, so I'm going to use keystrokes for now. So first thing we need to do is add our first command. So what I need is some text in my Word document. So to do that, next step, we've got that option there, haven't we? Type text. Click on it. Now I can click insert and type some text because this is not a keystroke. So what I'm going to do is put in a command that creates random text in a Word document just to show you. So I'll click OK. Then I'm going to put why that's activating. I'm going to go to the next step and I'm going to wait while that command activates. So I'll click insert. So I'm going to add say 144 milliseconds doesn't need a lot click OK and there's the wait so I'm down to my next command so if this is working properly it should create all the text first random text then it's going to wait then I want to highlight everything so this is when I do my first keystrokes so go back to next step and go back to keystrokes so there's one problem with that so when it types in the code, it's going to wait, but to actually create the code and activate it, I need to do the enter key. So why not add a keystroke here? Pressing the enter key on the keyboard. Now that will activate the first script, which is equals rand open close bracket. Shall we see if that's working first, to kind of give you an idea? Now before I'm going to try out the command general commands, I'm going to click the train button, so Dragon knows it's a command. I need to speak into here once. General commands. I'm now going to save that command. General commands at the bottom here where it says save. And let's try it out. General commands. So far so good. So it's opened up random text and the enter key has activated that random text. So now what I can do is carry on with my script. So the next thing I'm going to do that is highlight it all. I'm going to add bold, italicize and underline. 
So let's go back to your tools menu on your dragon bar. I need to get to that command again, so now it will be in command browser. And there it is, general commands. If you don't see it there, it probably means you're in the wrong mode, for example. So if I click mode button here, we go to browse, it then shows all your commands and you can't see it there. So click the script option, it brings into script mode and then you can see your command there. Now, I can edit it by double tapping it or just clicking the edit button in the script option. So let's do our next command. So if I click insert, I now want to highlight everything. So shortcut key for that is control A. That highlights everything. Now, just to remind you, when you're actually creating your commands and scripts down here, look what order they're in. See how press control A, highlight all. Now it's gone before press enter. So what I'll do is with enter, if I click the up button, I can put it in this place. So always remember that, always check what sequence they're in. Right, create a new one, next. So I've highlighted everything. Now I want to make it all bold. So control B is a shortcut for bold. And then I can do control U for underline. And then control I for italicize. Now let's check the sequence. Now actually I put that in the wrong place. Look, control A. Let's put that up because I want to highlight everything first. Then I'm going to bold it, underline it, and italicize it. So what's next? I need to unselect everything and by doing that I could use a couple of commands but why don't I use the control then press the end button on the number pad keyboard part and that will unselect everything and there we go looking good so far one thing I did miss if you remember what I was saying at the beginning of the tutorial is turning off the microphone so if I go back up to here uh, I could turn the microphone off at the beginning actually if I go into my new steps and look for microphone off, I can then insert it there. So when I say my command, which is general commands, the microphone will turn off, then activate the first text command. Then after a wait, it will press enter key to activate that command. Then it's going to highlight everything, bold it, underline it, italicize it, then unselect it. So we'll see if that works. So I'll click save. I don't need to train it. I've already trained it before. So just click the save to save the command. General commands. And there we go. All my formatting options. Thanks for watching. Learning made easy.